How's it going everyone? So in this video, I'm going to show you guys pelvic floor exercises for men. So before I get started, please subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already. I do appreciate the support. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're interested in an online personal training firm, uh, my email is in the description box. So just shoot me a quick email and we can talk more details about pricing. My pricing is very affordable, you guys. So let's go over the exercises right now. We're gonna do a workout, follow along at home with the workout, and you will notice that your pelvic floor is working, you guys. So let's get started right now. And again, this will help your pelvic floor muscles. So the first exercise that we're going to do is going to be the bridge. The bridge is one of the best exercises to do uh, for your pelvic floor. So what we're going to do is we're gonna do 10 repetitions then we're gonna take a 30 second break and we're gonna keep on doing this over and over again. And then we're gonna do another exercise on top of this as well. So let's get started, you guys. One, two, and again, all we're doing is lifting our hips off the floor. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As simple as that, you guys take a 30 second break and then we will continue doing it. Um, this exercise, again, one of the best exercises for your pelvic floor. Now, a lot of people ask me, how can you tell your pelvic floor muscles are actually working? The easiest way to tell where your pelvic floor muscles are is to start peeing and then stop peeing midstream. And those muscles that tense up, that's your pelvic floor, that's your pelvic floor muscles, you guys. So that's how you tell. I don't recommend doing that all the time, just once in a while, just to kind of see how your muscles are doing, but don't train like that because you can hurt your bladder, you can hurt your pelvic floor muscles doing that all the time. So just make sure you watch out for that. So let's do it again, you guys. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Take a 30 second break, do it again. So again, this will be our third set coming up, you guys. Make sure you follow along at home and this will help you guys out, trust me on this. So make sure, again, you guys are following along at home. Okay, you guys, it's been 30 seconds. Let's go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 30 second break. So yeah, make sure you guys are following along at home. This will really help out your pelvic floor muscles. And I get questions all the time from people wanting to know uh, the best exercises for your pelvic floor. The bridge is one of the best exercises. Trust me on this, you guys. The bridge, very, very good exercise to do um, for your pelvic floor. Okay, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Followed by a 30 second break. So what I like to do when I'm doing these exercises, you guys, is generally I'll do them for about 10 minutes each exercise and that just gives me a lot of volume in. It's gonna allow you to really feel the muscle working and it, it's a good time limit in my opinion. So that's what I would do if you guys wanna follow along. I would do this for 10 minutes and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do it for 10 minutes, then we're gonna do the other exercise for 10 minutes as well. So we're almost at five minutes, you guys, and yeah, we're just gonna keep going. And uh, the other exercise is good too, the other exercise. Um, I won't tell you guys yet. You guys have to stick around if you wanna know the other exercise. So let's go right now, I guess. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> now we're going to wait again for 30 seconds. Hopefully you guys are starting to feel it. I am already. That's why I love this workout, you guys. It's a very, very good workout. Rest periods, again, around 30 seconds. Uh, if it's give or take five or 10 seconds, that's fine. But we don't want our rest periods running two, three, four, five minutes. We don't want that. We want them around 30 seconds or so. If you go 35, 40 seconds, that's fine. 25 seconds, that's fine. But try to keep it around the 30 second mark. If you're going constantly, two, three minutes, that's a waste of time. You guys don't do that. 30 seconds is the best in my opinion. So again, just keep doing this. You guys are doing great. Follow along at home, you guys. So let's keep going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Followed by a 30 second break, you guys. Now there are lots of different exercises that you can do for your pelvic floor. I find these ones to be the best. I will make more videos on different exercises because I know you guys like watching these videos. So again, I will do it on different exercises, but the bridge in my opinion is one of the best exercises that you can do. That's why we're doing this exercise first. The bridge, very, very good exercise to do. And then again, after this, we're gonna do another exercise, but you guys have to stay tuned to watch the next exercise. So let's get to it right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Followed by a 30 second break, you guys. I like saying that, followed by a 30 second break, you guys. Just kidding. Uh, this other exercise that I'm going to show you guys is very good as well, and it's you guys are going to like it. So make sure that you guys do stay tuned, and again, you will like it. Trust me, you're going to like this exercise. And we're almost there. We're at eight minutes already, you guys. Uh, sorry, seven minutes, 42 seconds, so almost eight minutes. Uh, we're going to go for 10 minutes, and then we're going to do the next exercise. So let's get to it. It's been 30 seconds. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thirty second break. Okay, you guys, it's been 30 seconds. Let's get to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 30 second break. So we're gonna do one more set after this and then we're gonna do the next exercise. And again, you guys are gonna like this next exercise. It's a great exercise, a lot of people like it. You guys will like it, trust me on this. If you guys have been following along at home, you've been following what I've been doing and you've been following the rest periods, great job, keep it up. We are almost done this exercise, then we're gonna do the next exercise. So the workout's halfway done. You guys are doing amazing. So really, really give yourself a pat on the back if you guys have been following this this long. Keep it up. So we're gonna do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> we're gonna take a one minute break, you guys, just because we finished all those sets. We're gonna take a one minute break and then we're gonna do the next exercise.
the next exercise is an exercise that you guys probably um, you probably don't know or you haven't seen too many people do it so that's why I'm showing you guys this exercise it's a phenomenal exercise to really help your pelvic floor muscles so I'm gonna show it to you guys um, right away 30 more seconds and then I will show it to you very good exercise you guys very good I love this exercise Fifteen more seconds, then we're going to do it, you guys. With this exercise too, we're going to be taking longer rest periods just because it's a little bit harder of an exercise and we'll be doing it for a longer period of time. So let's get started right now. The exercise is the runner's lunge, you guys. So to do this exercise, what you want to do is you want to get into a runner's lunge position. So to do this, we're going to get as if you're about to run a sprint. And all we're gonna do is bend over. So I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit so you guys can see. So all we wanna do is get into this position and hold this position like so. We're gonna hold it for about 30 seconds, you guys, and then we're gonna take a one minute break. So this position, and we're gonna switch legs too. So we're on our left side right now. Just pretend as if you're about to do a sprint. So again, this exercise, very good. Um, I'll show it to you from another angle too. So imagine you're about to do a sprint, you're in this position, you're getting ready to run, and you can feel it in your pelvic floor, you guys. You can feel your pelvic floor muscles working. So we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds, then we're gonna take a one minute break just because this exercise is pretty demanding on the body. So that's 30 seconds, you guys. Come down, we're gonna take our one minute break, and then we're gonna get back into it. So again, I would do 30 seconds, but for a lot of people watching, you haven't trained your pelvic floor muscles, you try to do this for a minute, uh, and then you take a 30 second break only, it's way too hard in my opinion, you're gonna burn out. That's why generally the people that I train this, I show them, it's 30 seconds followed by a one minute rest period. This will give you lots of time to recover and it, it gets your body into the groove of things. I don't want you guys to be super burned out. I want you to be able to do this workout over and over again for months on end and you're gonna see some crazy, crazy results, you guys. So that's why I'm doing this. Um, if any of you are thinking it's super easy, just wait till the end of the video when we're completely done all of our sets. If it's too easy then, you can do it for 45 seconds and still take the one minute break. So it's almost been one minute, you guys. We're gonna get back into it. So again, runner's lunge. We're gonna do our right leg now. So bend down just like so. And again, we're getting ready to run. So again, you can have your leg like here, you can have it like this, whatever you want. Just get into that runner's lunge position just like this. And you can really feel it in your hamstrings, you guys, when you're in this position. So it's gonna work your pelvic floor. It's also gonna put some pressure on your hamstring, which is completely fine. So seven more seconds, you guys hold this position. Very good, keep holding you guys, almost done. And that's our 30 seconds. So we're gonna take a one minute break. And then we're gonna do it again, you guys. So again, this puts pressure on your legs, which is completely fine. Um, it will help you out. So just keep doing it and you will see the results. You guys, trust me on this. Very important that you guys follow along at home and you do the whole workout, you guys, very important. Make sure to do the whole workout and you will see some good results. So again, do the whole workout. Okay, one minute is up. Let's get back into it. We'll do our left leg now. So again, hold this position just like this. We're gonna hold it for 30 seconds, you guys. Keep holding that position, you guys. 10 more seconds to go. You guys are doing really good. If it's getting too easy, you can kind of stand up more like so. It'll put a little more pressure on your hamstring, make it a little bit harder. That's time, you guys. So we're gonna rest for a minute, then we're gonna do it again. 
And again, in my opinion, this exercise is a little bit tougher. That's why we're going with the one minute rest periods as opposed to only the 30 second uh, rest period. So make sure you guys are following along at home and you will see some crazy, crazy results. Trust me on this. If you guys are wondering too, what's going on in my life so far, you guys, um, things have been really busy. I'm getting married soon. Uh, that's really exciting. Uh, we sold our house, so this house is sold. We will be moving into another house. Um, I am starting an online course to July 1st, so a lot of things are happening for me. Uh, really good things. I'm super pumped up. I've been super, super busy lately, but still trying to provide the content for you guys. So I'll talk about that uh, when we are done our 30 seconds. So just keep holding this position like so. Keep holding you guys five more seconds. Done. Now we're gonna rest for another minute. I'll, I'll still talk a little bit about my personal life for you guys. Uh, I know some of you guys like me to talk more about it. Uh, so, so I love talking about it. So um, yeah, just doing an online course you guys and eventually I will be doing that and YouTube full time. Uh, right, right now I do YouTube a lot. Um, and I do work another job. I work a nine to, or sorry, an eight to four thirty job. So the course that I will be doing online, I will be doing that instead. I will be working towards doing that. And uh, yeah, it's super exciting because I like the course. Uh, right now, I'm doing a job that it's okay, but um, I want to do something else. I want to work from home. That is my goal, you guys. So my goal is to work from home to do this course and to do YouTube. That is what I want to do. And um, it's doing, everything's doing pretty good, you guys. So I'm super pumped, super excited. And yeah, let's keep going, you guys. 30 seconds, uh, hold it on the left side. Just hold this position. And yeah, if you guys have been following along at home, you guys have been doing the whole video so far. Super, super impressed with you guys. You, if you guys have been doing it this long, you guys are the guys that are gonna see results. The other people that have quit, that's on them. Whatever, just keep going, you guys. We're almost done. That's the 30 seconds. We're gonna take a one minute break. Then we're gonna do one more set and that's gonna be it. So great job if you guys have been following along at home. Really excited. Um, keep it up. So yeah, that's kinda, that's kinda what I wanna do with my life, you guys. The course is kinda my stability. It's kinda where my income is. And doing YouTube, that's kinda just some fun money and it's it's really exciting. I love doing YouTube, you guys. I love making videos. I love um, just sharing my life, showing you guys the exercises and loving what everyone says. I love helping people, you guys. That's my main thing. I love helping people out, seeing all the nice comments, helping people. Like you have no idea what it's like to see someone text me, uh, message me, email me and say, you know what? You helped me lose 40 pounds. Thank you so much, you changed my life right there from the heart, that means the world to me. That's why I love doing this, you guys. So really, really love helping you guys out. And if you guys have questions, let me know. All my videos, uh, 30 seconds right now, you guys, all my videos are dedicated towards questions. So people will ask me questions, I will answer them. I have a list of questions from people. That's why some of my video titles might be titled like how to get a big chest for a 13 year old. It's because a 13 year old asked me how to get a big chest. So everything's geared towards my subscribers and that's what I like you guys. So that's what I'm gonna continue to do. And uh, it has been working out so far. 30 seconds is up you guys. Uh, great job, great, great job. If you guys have watched the whole video, you've done all the repetitions, you will see results. I recommend doing this every day Every day is completely fine. Uh, do it for a couple months. You will see results. Watch this video over and over and over again when you do the exercise and just follow along with me and you will see some crazy results. Trust me on this, you guys. End of video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please like the video and share it. Thanks again.